Well, Gracie, say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> what do I do now? Well, just make something up, you know. Oh, all right. I'll make up a riddle. I'll give you three chances, and if you can't guess it, you win. If I can't guess it, I win? Well, what happens if I guess it? Well, uh, then it's a tie. It's a tie? Now, what's the difference? Uh, just a minute, Gracie. Uh, this one is on me. A fellow was in a restaurant. He ordered spinach, mashed potatoes, and cheesecake. How did I know that he was a soldier? Um, oh, is that the one where the fellow had on a uniform? Yeah, that's very good, George. Tell that one. Listen, what I'd like to know is how do I allow myself to get mixed up into these things? <laughs> oh, that's very funny. Now, I'll make one up. Not only can I make up riddles, George, I can also tell you what you're thinking about. I'm a mind reader. Listen, Gracie, is there anything that phases you? I don't think so. Uh, no. All right, now, think of something. Well, all right, I'm thinking. Uh, is it green? Is what green? Does it hang from the ceiling and whistle? Does what hang from the ceiling and whistle? Uh, does it run along the floor and sing? Listen. Uh, uh, does it climb up buildings and swim? Just a minute. I thought you said that you could read my mind. Well, George, how can I read your mind if you keep on asking me all those silly questions? I'm asking you... Listen, let's talk about something else. Well, Gracie, I'm sorry to hear about your missing brother. Oh, that's too bad, George, because my brother's missing, too. Well, the only difference between you and me is that I have the power of mind over matter, and you have no mind, and it doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> oh, I bet you tell that to all the girls. <laughs> well, never mind. I still would like to know, how is your brother? My brother? Oh, well, I think they ought to open up all the prisons. It would help prosperity. Wait a minute. That's the wrong answer. No, that's the right answer, but you asked the wrong question. Uh now, look. It costs the government $70 million a year to feed and clothe the prisoners. Yes. And when they're out, they only steal $60 million a year. Well? That gives the government a $10 million profit right there, don't you think so? I think so. I'll see you later. I've now got Now, take a... my brother Harry. You take him. Oh, they got him. They got him? Yeah, he's ruining Sing Sing. He eats them out of house and warden. House and warden? Yeah. And my other brother Willie. Well, there's an appetite for you. He bit Harry. Without ketchup? No, it's catcher. Yeah, it's better with catcher. Yeah, catching. and Willie goes to San Quentin. He goes to San Quentin. He takes his books and he goes to San Quentin. Yeah, well, I'll never forget when my brothers got out, how proud my father was. As they left the gate, there was my father standing and waving from his cell. Your father waved from his cell. Yeah, yeah. he said, goodbye, kids. Mm. And they hollered back, goodbye, Pop. Nice family. Yeah, tell Uncle there's some toothpaste left in cell 22. In cell 22. Yeah. My father doesn't like that prison, though. Bad, huh? Yeah, they won't let him gamble. They say it gives the place a bad name. Listen, Gracie, how is it that it's so easy for you to talk and so hard for me to listen? Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, <laughs> yes, there I go, and you're going with me. I can. My shoe shrunk. Your shoe shrunk? Yeah, George, what do they make shoes from? Hide. What? Hide. Oh, I'm not in the mood to play games. You hide. Gracie, hide, hide. The alligator's outside. Oh, well, if the alligator's outside, let's all hide. Oh, quiet. George, I've got some wonderful news for you. My brother got married, but it's the carpenter's fault. You see, my brother was crazy about... I know that, Gracie, but what do you mean it was the carpenter's fault? Well, you see, my brother was crazy about a girl who lived on the third floor. Yes? But the carpenter made the ladder too short, and he eloped with the girl on the second floor. Well, what about the girl on the third floor? That, that made her pretty mad. Oh, well, she didn't seem to mind it. But her husband was so disappointed he could hardly hold the ladder. How, well, but how could your brother get a license to marry a girl he didn't know? Oh, well, he got two licenses. One marriage license and one hunting license. A hunting license? Yeah, because as soon as she marries her, she'll have to hunt for a job. But does your father approve of things like that? Oh, my poor father. He couldn't say anything on account of his black eye. Black eye? Well, all he had to do was just put a piece of steak on it. Well, if there was a piece of steak in the house, my mother wouldn't have given him the black eye. A black... Gracie, if you had a brain, you'd be smart if you knew how to use it, if you had a brain. Oh, that's very good, Judge. But I still like the one about early to bed, early to rise, makes you healthy, wealthy, 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 wealthy and healthy. A little Don't music, so? I think so. Seeing is believing, that's a story old and true. Don't believe all you hear, you've often heard that too. You, dear, and I, dear, are exceptions to the rule. You may think me dizzy. Believe me, I'm no fool. I love you, love you, love you, dear. I cross my heart, I do. Do you believe me? I do. And you're the one and only girl I ever told that to. Do you believe me? I do. 
And if things went wrong and skies above were gray instead of blue, you wouldn't have to worry, cause I'd know just what to do. I'd get up early mornings, I'd find a job for you. Do you believe me? I do. I'd mend your hose and fix your clothes. That's what I do for you. Do you believe me? I do. I cook your favorite dish, cafilter fish, your Irish stew. Do you believe me? I do. And Mother dear would visit us six months of every year. My mother knows just how to mind her business, never fear. She's not like other mothers, she's a perfect little dear. Do you believe me? I'm through. Yum da dum da dee da 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 do. We're dancing now. Yeah, you're missing this, and it's very nice. Oh, George, look. I'm kicking the back of my head. Well, maybe that's the trouble with you. Oh, stop. Oh, Daddy. You know, Gracie, I think you're very smart. Yeah, I know. Well, if you're so smart, name three different kinds of nuts. Um, a walnut hmm? and a uh, chestnut. That's two. And uh, a forget-me-nut. I do. Yum, da, 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 da. You know, I forgot to tell you, but a very funny thing happened to my mother in Cleveland. Oh, and I thought you were born in Buffalo. Yum, da, dum, da, dee, da, lum, da, dee, da, 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 do. Do you like the love? No. Like the kiss? No. What do you like? Lamb chop. Yum, da, 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 da. You know, you're too smart for one girl. I'm more than one. You're more than one? My mother has a picture of me when I was two. Yum, da, 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 do. This is the finish. <laughs> 